All right, we got we got ten seconds to get somebody's attention. What do you got? I said, Burr, it's cold in here. There must be an Arctic storm in the atmosphere. You, they're not. Let's just light it up. All right. So, knife of the week. Right here. Spyderco Arctic Storm. This is our exclusive. We're going to take a look at that one up close right now. Now, you've seen our announcements on this knife. And Mr. Jon Snow. This thing is really cool. Yes, I, I got to be Jon Snow in uh, in that video, which is really cool. And I got to do something that I wanted to do uh, since the addition was built onto this building and I was a teenager, and that was climb on the uh, waterfall there. So It was uh, messy, wasn't it? It was, yeah. I had to change clothes. It was, it <laughs> was kind of, yeah. It was nice. Um, the, that, so that was not real snow on there. It might have looked like it, but it was not. <laughs> Good calcium slime. But um, this is uh, this is that Arctic Storm exclusive right there, and look at how beautiful that you see looks. That shimmer. Yeah, that fat carbon handle right there. That's it one is, thing a picture will never show. Yeah, exactly. and you have to look at this in person and see it in person. These are going to be available on uh, August twenty fourth, National Knife Day at eleven a.m. Limit two per customer. That is a DLC coated CPM M4 blade. These are coming in at one ninety nine. Four way pocket clip, and uh, everything is DLC coated. So you'll see that everything, all the hardware, everything is blacked out, and those uh, black and blue fat carbon handles right there is what makes it exclusive. That's what makes this really, really special. The overall length is eight point two five inches. Blade length is three point four three inches. Blade thickness of point one four inches. Closed length four point eight two inches. And this one is coming in at only three point nine ounces for a full size, what I would consider a full size EDC right there. And it's it's a beautiful knife. The action's great on it. And again, it's it's an exclusive. So it's something that you're not going to be able to get anywhere else. And once they're gone, they're gone. What do you think about that one? Man, talk about a knife that, since I've worked here, there's been two knives that really got a lot of hop. And that's obviously the bug out that yeah. we had. The, the exclusive bug outs. The Desert Warrior. But the thing is with that one is like a lot of people didn't know it was coming so far ahead of time. Right. So this one's had some hype since Blade Show. Yeah. We got to talk about it at Blade Show and we weren't really sure when it was going to come. And it just kind of appeared out of nowhere as uh, Jon Snow trekked up the mountain, um, up the wall, as it were. I absolutely love this knife. I've always liked the paramilitaries because of the, the lock mechanism yeah, on the that back that compression of it. lock. And I mentioned this in the, in the live that we did uh, a couple weeks ago. I really like the compression lock, and some people do, some people don't. I do simply because of the safety factor. It forces you to get your fingers out of the way, and it's great for people who aren't used to manipulating knives. It's great for people that are new to knives, and it's also going to be it, – it's a proven design – that's extremely durable. You know, and when we were at Blade Show, I had a lot of people looking at the Spider Coast simply because it's a one-handed knife. Yeah. And you can do everything one-handed. So a lot of people, if they're up on a ladder yep. or if they got to cut something, they can be able to pull this out, flick it open, and then when they're done with it, they can easily one-handed take it, put it right back in. That's yeah. what I like about these paramilitaries. And honestly, this one right here is probably going to end up finding its way into both of our pockets. And yeah. Yeah, I would say at some point, probably so. Uh, I, I'm If we can even give one, because yeah. um, I'm going to be fair and let people have their chance to buy it this yeah. time and not get it. A, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there, there is a limited number you can buy of these. You can only get two. Yeah, uh, so two I'm, per person. Two per person, because they are going to go fast and they're very popular. Uh, but other than that, I mean, you, you know, you got it's different ways you can grab this knife. Yeah. You got... You got a finger troll up here and up here, and or you can also grab it down here. And wherever great jumping on that, it it gives great control for precise cuts. 
but it's also a big enough blade for the harder work. So. And I like the size of the lanyard hold on, on, yeah. the, on the back. Well, and also, and I mentioned it before, the four-way pocket clip makes it so that it is great for anyone. Anybody and that, who wants to complain. Yeah, and that, <laughs> that compression lock is very easily manipulated, even for me, left-handed. And I'm not left-handed, I'm right-handed. But even using it left-handed, it's, it's very easy to manipulate. Um, left-handed so it, it's it's a great ambidextrous knife yep so, so that's it that's the arctic storm and now uh that's the knife of the week we're going to keep yeah. doing these every show a new knife of the week um, if you have suggestions of what you think the knife of the week should be let us know in the comments and we'll we'll do knife of the week we might yeah. start doing a poll yeah so new news new news is it news because it's new <laughs> if you know you know so um, we've got some really cool stuff coming up. National Knife Day coming up August 24th. That's when that uh, Arctic Storm is going to be available. But we're also having a huge event that day. It's going to be online and in the store. We're doing a ton of giveaways, 60-some-odd giveaways $6, online. $6,000 worth of giveaways. Yeah, $6,000. That's a lot of knives. And door prizes in the store. So if you can make it to the store, great. If you can't, there's going to be a ton well, of giveaways you know, if you online. Ca- if you count the in-store giveaways and online, there's probably over eight thousand dollars worth of, of yeah. It's a, it's a lot of stuff. So, stay tuned for that. We're going to be coming out with details on how to enter those contests, how to enter those giveaways. We're going to be letting you know uh, very soon. So, we're actually each photo you see dropping every day up until National Knife Day is a knife that's going to be given away on yes. National Knife Day. So yes. follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, where we post these photos, even and we do it on Twitter as well. And you will see which knives are going to be given away each day. You can go check out the live that you did yesterday. Yep. Well, it's not yesterday on this yeah. video, but we have lives. There will be all kinds of information where you can access all the knives that will be given away. Uh, if, if you're the person like me who never wins anything right you got a really good chance you got a really good chance uh this time so and you know so this uh this is going to air the day before knife day Uh, and there'll be no sign up thing basically you'll you'll have to comment like on the on the video that we're doing and we're going to use a random uh what are, what are those called again the generator random generators to to pick uh pick whoever will be uh, the winner. So basically the way it'll work is we'll do how many comments we have, put that number in, and then if your comment number random generated number seven, yeah. eight, nine, ten, that's who will win each one. And we'll do yep. that several times throughout the day, every hour on the hour. Yep. So, so that's how it's going to work. So stay tuned for that. National Knife Day. That's I'm August so 24th, and it's going to be all day long. It's going to be a lot of fun, and we're really looking forward to it. So stay tuned for that. We've also got our Case President's Day event coming up on August 28th. That's going to be a Saturday. So be sure to tune in for that. We're going to be live most of the day with that. We're going to have Case Executives here. Mari's going to be here. I'm going to be here. Isaac's going to be here. We're going to have a lot of special guests, including Tyler and Kevin Pipes. And this is a very special event because this is the first time we've got the President's Knife for Tyler, but we've also got the founder's knife now for Kevin and since Zippo. he's taken the uh, founder's role. And we've got the Zippo that's double-sided with both of them on there, the president and the founder. Have you founder. got the chance to look at the Zippo yet? Yes, I did. It's I did. sharp. Yeah, it's <laughs> really cool. Did you cool. see how they did the blade where it's like actually chrome? Yeah. In yeah. The, I'll see if I can throw a picture up, but you'll, you'll see it, and it's really cool. Yeah, so we're really looking forward to that. It's going to be a great event. If you can make it to that one, I know we've got some fans. Mike Curtis is coming to, to come into that one. So uh, we're really excited about that event, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Corbin it's be, will be coming back down. Corbin's going to be here. Uh, Shane and Patrick will be here. For, for the case event? No. Oh, no, I'm sorry, for National Knife Day. For National yeah. Knife Day, okay. I, I meant to mention that earlier. Okay. Awesome, yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, the case event coming up going to be a lot of fun and we're really glad to get to do it in person this year and we're going to be live again that day for most of the day so stay tuned for that we're going to have a bunch of giveaways in store as well including that exclusive case knife that is absolutely beautiful you saw that one if you want to check it out go and look at the uh, video that Mari and I did on the case special event knives the president's day event knives so now, There's a lot of stuff going on that week. We do. That, that's going to be a big week. <laughs> this is going to be a big week. Uh, so because this is going to be airing on that Monday, so this is going to be a big week for us. Stay tuned. You're going to have a lot of stuff to see. We're really excited. Now, 
what are we doing next? New knives? Oh, we'll also have an MKM sale. Yes, we're going to be doing an MKM sale. On the 24th. On the 24th, yes. So be sure to check that out. And to kind of give a teaser and a hint, we're going to have some uh, exclusive Isanzos on the way, maybe. So be sure to stay tuned and check those out. Those They're have gonna gotten be really, really cool. popular. We got some samples in, and they look really, really sweet. So be sure to stay tuned for those. And now let's move on to some new knives that we've just new gotten in. Knives. Wow, that was intense. Gotcha. We can so. have comic book stuff in like, smack. <laughs> Hand me that case knife. <laughs> Is that first? Yep. What's in the case? What's in the case? Uh. So that makes it a case case? Is that like couscous? What would you call a guy named Casey who has a case in a case? I guess you just call him Casey. Casey case case? <laughs> Casey. Casey has a case in his case? Casey's case case. Casey's case case. The only Casey I know is from uh, Griffin Pocket Tool. Oh, and no, and Casey uh, from uh, 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 Red Eye Red Hog. Hog. Yeah, yeah. what They've is his last name? Uh, uh, well, Casey Culver. Culver, yeah. Culver, yeah. And I will say, I have used uh, and Casey. I'm going to give you a shout out here because I've used your Red Eye Hog seasoning the last two times I've made ribs, and that stuff is amazing. Uh, I tagged you guys on Instagram on that one because that stuff was unbelievable. It's got a good kick that doesn't linger. Yeah, it, I mean, it comes in nice and warm, but then it finishes great. And I, I actually paired it up with uh, some Dr. – no, not Dr. Uh, Dr. Pepper. Stubbs. I paired it up with some Stubbs uh, barbecue sauce, and that stuff was amazing. All right, so – First up on our new knives, and you've seen us feature these before. We we just got these in, and we're really excited about them. This is Case's Pocket Worn series, and this is the 25th anniversary. So they started this Pocket Worn series in 1996. This one in particular is this year's vault pattern in the Pocket Worn 25th anniversary series. So this is the Case Copperhead in the Pocket Worn series, and that's the olive green jig bone for this year. And this is the copperhead pattern with the worn cliff blade. And we're going to take a look at that one. That thing is gorgeous. And I think you've, uh, you've got, you're, you're kind, of, kind of jonesing for this one, right? Yeah, well, I don't collect every case knife. I, I try to pick the ones that are vault patterns. And I know I have a little uh, mini pocket hunter collection. But really with some of the case knives, I don't, I'm not just out there just trying to buy every one I can. I buy the ones that I know aren't going to be around very long. And I've got to say, the, that olive green jig bone is, it's a beautiful finish, especially in the Pocket Worn series. Now, this one's coming in with a 3.05 inch Worn Cliff blade and a 2.25 inch pin blade right there. Blade thickness of 0 0.06 inches. These are going to be uh, brass liners, uh, nickel silver bolsters and pins, and the nickel silver case logo right there. Nine dot tank stamp because it came out this year because it is the vault pattern and you'll see the the pocket worn logo right there stamped on the blade and this thing is just beautiful. Also with the true true sharp surgical steel, I always have a hard time saying that from Case, and it's just a beautiful pattern and that's a, that's one of the new knives. Now if you go on on our website and you look up Case pocket worn. 25th anniversary you'll find all the different patterns we've got the trapper we've got the mini trapper we've got the the peanut we've got so the canoe the... and just look at that finish Trying to get them words in there hard to see them. yeah it's kind of hard to see them you can get them right there you kind of want to see the glimmer on everything yeah so we've got all the different patterns in this pocket worn series that is the 25th anniversary and those are really special and really cool right there so that's one of our new knives that is probably going to be making its way into isaac's collection collection the next new knife that we have what have we got isaac we got the lt right 
The new, uh, these are the Bandits, I believe. Yes, right? those are SMKW exclusives from LT Wright. And Very popular knife size here yeah, lately. It's, uh, it's a great size. It's a great weight and feel. And it's great for just everyday tasks. Look at the quality of the sheath that comes Yeah. In. LT Wright stuff is, is top notch as far as I'm concerned. And from one of the nicest guys. I believe I can honestly say I've ever met, and I think we'd agree on I'd that. I put him up against a contest with Mari. Yeah, and, you know. Yeah, they're they're right up there. I would like to I put mean, them in a room together and see who can out nice each other. <laughs> <laughs> and and make sure we we you heard that right, not out knife each other, but out nice each other. <laughs> um, and that's just they're two great guys. They really are. Now this one's coming in with a three point zero five inch able stainless steel blade. Satin finish, full tang construction, and this is the orange linen micarta handles, brass pins, brass lanyard tube, and it also, I believe, comes with the paracord lanyard in the box. Uh, these are coming in with the belt sheath. They're made in the U.S. Uh, 3.05 inch drop point blade. It's 0 .08 inches thick. Got a four inch handle right there. It's 7.37 inches overall. And for a 7.37 inch knife, it's only coming in at two and a half ounces. Two and a half ounces. You heard that right. Of course, a fixed blade. And this is another, like like I said before, it's a great do-it-all type knife. I mean, you could whip this out at a longhorn and use it as a steak knife. And it would work great. You can... And if you're looking for respect in the bushcraft community, anytime you pull out an LT right, people yeah. are going to. And that one's coming in at know. 125 too. So for something from LT right that's that high quality for 125, you just can't beat it. So up next for Mwah. new knives. Mwah. Give up the goat. Mwah. We got the goat knife. So these are brand new. From oh, you can peek at the back of that one. On that's that. right, yeah. So these are our goat knife. Now, you just saw recently a video that we did on these. These are really cool, and an idea that our CEO Tyler had uh, a while back. And this is the official goat knife of SMKW, right there. Surely most people know, but if you don't know, it's greatest of all time. Yes, it's greatest what it's, what it of all for. time. If we could get. Tom Brady to carry one of these? Oh, that'd be nice. That, that would be nice. Yeah. Knife? That, <laughs> that'd be so nice. But these are really cool. Uh, we've got them in the Tinker. We've got them in the Classic SD. So check those out, along with all of our SMKW exclusives. But these are two of the new ones, along with our new Halloween exclusives from Victorinox. Yep. So definitely check those out. All uh, the the Halloween ones. There's only going to be so many of those, so so check those out uh, as well. Really, really cool stuff from Victorinox. We're always really excited about our exclusives from them because they're so unique and they're things that you can only get right here at SMKW. And also for new knives, kind of on the higher end, we've got some new Microtex. They and are. Sure. These are really cool. And first, we're going to feature these exosets, and that is so satisfying, isn't it? Oh, when you get them like right, that. This... Yeah. Wait, hold... oh. So, those two are the Stormtrooper models, both with the spear point blade, one serrated, half serrated, one's non serrated. And those are coming in at, I believe, how much did you say they were, Greg? 313 They all got a little bit different price point on them. So they're coming in between... These are just... These just hit our shelf. 300 and 335 Okay, so they're coming in between 300 and 330 And we've also got the Sand Trooper. So that's, that's the Storm Trooper that's been shot at a few times. And he's obviously not shot anything himself because he can't aim. But... These things are really, really cool. Clean. They're clean. And clean. they're very, very slick. The action on them is really good, as with any Microtech. And if you're a big fan of Star Wars, you need to check these out. I imagine you could have like a whole 
collection like with the one you've got like the bounty hunters and the stormtrooper ones yeah absolutely and it, you know i like the utility of the exoset in and of itself because it's a small one it can also be used as a wallet and uh, money clip right there and it's a great blade size and blade shape for doing just about anything Especially with the the serrated one, you can use that to cut rope. I mean, that's going to be insanely sharp. M three ninety blade steel on those. That one looks so rad. This would be, I yeah. like. I'd love to have uh, that one right there. I guess. Yeah. And let's show that action up close too. Overall length coming in at five point six two five inches. M three ninety bowler blade steel, and this is going to be the Tonto with the with the Sand Trooper. And we've also got the, the spear or the dagger there. That one's the partially serrated. This one is the non-serrated right there. Pops right out. Now, that is safe. So, if you, I'm not going to hold it against my skin. But if you, you know, put that against something. Um, so, if you just go ahead and do that right there, it's, it's not going to, it didn't puncture the cloth at all. And it's just not going to engage. Don't do it to your skin. Yeah, don't like, do that. It's, but it's still going to be sharp up against your skin. That way, it alleviates some worry. Maybe it's not going to go it's, through it's, you. It's not going to go off in your pocket. I've never. I mean, I've been carrying one of these for months now. Never has it once gone it off in my pocket. So, another new Microtech is this Ultratech DE, and this one's really cool because. You know, the whole Desert Warrior theme has been super popular. Seems like lately. everybody's coming out with one now. And this one is really cool. Microtech put their own kind of spin on that type of theme with the OD Green G10 handles, which is something kind of unique for them. They they don't usually do that. They usually do the uh, anodized uh, aluminum handles right there. All right, here's, here's the original one. Yeah. So this is the original Ultratech DE. It's usually the anodized aluminum. That's the blade show that we got there. This one's going to be with the G10 OD green handle on one side and the anodized aluminum on the other side. And that's a bronze coating that they put on there. And it's also on the blade, which makes it look super slick and clean. That thing looks really cool. And the bronze coating is also on the hardware throughout the handle, as well as the glass breaker. Now that one's coming in, closed length 5 inches, blade length 3.35 inches, partially serrated. And that is with Bowler M390 steel as well. And this thing is super, super sharp. Double action, out the front auto, overall length 8.36 inches, blade thickness of 0.12 inches. And if you've looked anywhere online, you'll know the durability of these things. Like, they take an absolute beating and just keep on a ticking. And that Ultratech DE is coming in at $430 right there. Up next, and this is going to start our uh, picks. So, we usually do, like, a budget then a mid-range, and then a high-end pick for each of us. So this will start our budget picks for each of us. Budget picks! Budget picks! Cut. <laughs> <laughs> so my budget pick this week, and it's one that's been really popular. We've had a hard time keeping them in, but you can find them on our website. That's the Button Lock Elementum. And the internet has been going crazy over these things and doing all kinds of really cool mods to them. This is the green, OD Green Micarta handled version of the button lock. And that's going to come with that black, it's like a DLC coating or stone wash is what, what they're calling it. Overall length is 8 inches, closed length is 4 point five three inches blade length of three point four seven inches on that 14 c 28 in blade steel right there blade thickness of 0. 0.12 inches uh it's got the ambidextrous tip up pocket clip so you can switch that from one side to the other and the od green micarta handles with the integrated lanyard loop in the backspacer right there so really cool, and the the spacer is also 
the OD Green micarta as well. So that thing is awesome and super popular. It flies right out, super easy. And like I said, a lot of people have been doing insane mods to these things and having a blast with them. The original Elementum was really popular in and of itself, but then they made the button lock version and people are just really, really liking this thing. I it, I like it. It's I, I'm indifferent about it. Personally, I like the ability to play with my knife to a flick bit, yeah. a little bit more. Use so th this is just different. It, it feels like I'm cheating in a way. Right. Uh, it still works really nice. And, you know, there's a knife for everybody. Is this one for me? Probably not. Do I like the style, the look, and the design of it? Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and that's why I'm, you like you say all the time. There's vanilla and chocolate. They make chocolate and vanilla for a reason. There's something different for everybody. So that's my budget pick. It's coming in at about $63, I believe, 63 to $69. So that's, I mean, for that steel, that style, that model, you can't beat it. Now, for my budget one, um, I really picked this one because I've had a fascination of watching people online forge their wrench into a knife. Yeah. And I know personally if I was to buy one like that, it would cost more than what I wanted to pay for it. So, luckily, there are production models of, exactly. <laughs> of stuff like that. And With a polymer sheath already made for it. Yeah. So, you can, you can is this anything like fancy, crazy? No. But it's cool, and it, you know, it's a good conversation piece. Somebody sees that, like, is that a wrench? No, it's it's a knife. Yeah. Uh, so I'll let T show this off and read the specs off. This is that K bar wrench knife, 425 high carbon stainless steel blade and handle. Uh, that is definitely a full tank construction right there. Kind of obvious. Stone wash finish, finger ring right there in the back end, so you can put your finger in there if you want to. Uh, or you can hold it, you know, just like that. It's not, a, unfortunately, it has not got the purpose of an actual right on the back of it, but no. it just kind of mimics it. Now, this one is uh, made in Olean, New York, uh, made in the USA, three inch drop point blade, 0. 0.18 inches thick, and 7.12 inches overall, coming in at 3.2 ounces with the polymer uh, sheath right there. I'm going to go ahead and slide it in the sheath, show you that. It, it, Locks into that sheath really nicely. And that sheath can be worn several different ways. It can also accept a pocket clip. Uh, it's going to be fairly universal there. How much is that one? That one, I believe, is 35 35 Yeah, that's uh, that's what I was thinking, but I wanted to be sure. So coming in around $35, it's a really cool knife. Really, thirty nine ninety nine. That one's coming in at thirty nine ninety nine. Really cool knife. Really great conversation piece there. I, I I gotta I gotta stand with you on that one. I really like that. It'd be a, it. It's a cool little gift. Say you got an uncle that you don't really know what to get, get or you know. Oh something. yeah. Just it's a it's a good neat gift to give. Somebody. It's a great gift. And who is ever gonna complain about getting a knife as a gift? Nobody. Nobody. All right. So now we are into the. Uh, Mid-range picks. Mid-range picks. Mid-range picks. Mid-range picks. All right, so for my pick, I have went with the CJRB Mangrove. And I picked this one because one thing me and T like to do is just go through the store sometimes. And, yeah, well, yeah we get the list of new knives, but we also like to go through and pay attention to what we see being posted on, on the Internet and also just kind of what catches our eye. And this one really caught my eye because of the handles on it. It's yeah. kind of got that scalloped scalloped handle look. Yeah. And then I also like the uh, the bronze pivot collars. And on top of that, the design of it kind of resembles a Nesmuk design. Yeah. It's got that fat belly, that, that curved belly on it, uh, like a Skinner, a Nesmuk. It yeah. reminded me of an old school <coughs> fixed blade into a modern folder. Yeah. So that's what I liked about it. That's a really cool knife. Oh, and it's D2 tool yeah. steel for less than $40. Yeah. <coughs> so that's CJRB Mangrove coming in at twenty nine ninety nine, Which you is cheaper than my budget pick. So yeah. I kind of got those backwards. You, you kind of got those mixed up. That's okay, though. That's all right. I'm cheap. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're very much uh, exemplifying 
how cheap you really are this week. So that one's coming I in with I just had a, a baby, man. I, I kind of <laughs> cut down on my knife budget. 3.53 inch drop point. D2 tool steel blade, 0.13 inches thick. 4.72 inches closed and 8.23 inches overall. And 4.9 ounces. That one does feel really good in the hand. I'm, I'm with you. I like that scalloped look on the, the G10 handles there. And, you know, for its price... Before, remember the the marbles uh, cleaver that I have. It's in D two with the uh, wood handles. Yeah, it's right around the same price. And this right here is a little bit more hunk of steel, and you're a great brand on top yeah. of that. So yeah, I uh, for as far as D two, it's one of the best priced out there. Yeah, you, you can't beat that. It's hard to find D two under thirty dollars. I like that, and I'm like you too. I like the I like the accent of the. Uh, bronze coated pivot collar right there that's really cool so my mid-range pick is uh coming in with the lion steel and this is one that i've been uh, a brand that i've been paying attention to a lot lately uh, i really like them i like what they're doing especially with all the italian brands when it comes to slip joint knives because it's an italian company they're made in italy and in a lot of places in Europe, they can only carry slip joint knives. They can only have slip joint knives. So as far as knife laws goes, that's that's what they're allowed to have. And I really like their innovations that they're coming out with, making more modern takes on slip joint knives. This one is no different. This is the Jack 2. And let's take a look at that one up close now. This one's going to be a, a single bolster, uh, not quite, I wouldn't say a Barlow, but it's going to be a single bolster design with the green micarta handles, and this one's got a, a titanium frame and liner back spring right there, made in Italy. The blade length is 3 inches, closed length 3.8 inches, with a blade thickness coming in at 0 0.09 inches. Overall length with that blade open is 6.8 inches. And speaking of the blade, there it is right there, M390. Say that again? M390. On a traditional knife? On a traditional what is wrong with joint these knife. Really cool right there. I, I, I just love this thing. And, you know, and that's the biggest problem with a lot of traditional knives is not having a real premium blade still yeah. thrown in there and with this you get premium everything and the classic design and listen to that did you hear that did you hear that snap let's do that let's do that in the microphone yeah. i mean that's just that's just beautiful it also has the sh the flathead screwdriver and the bottle opener right there great design and we've got the jack one the jack two and the jack three so the jack one is just a single blade the one clip point blade the two has the clip point blade as well as the bottle opener and flathead screwdriver and the three also adds in the corkscrew to it as well and i just i love what they're doing not just them but also uh, the likes of viper and MKM and Lion Steel with slip joint knives. I, I just I like the innovation. I like the designs. I think it's very sleek, very handsome. So that one's coming in at one thirty eight ninety five for my mid range pick on that Lion Steel Jack Two. And then looks like you've got your big pick. Yep, next. we'll go ahead and go with my big pick. My uh, your what? My big pick. <laughs> had to hear that for the second time that threw me off guard You're coming big. in with that big pick energy <laughs> <laughs> it sure is a big pick right there this is my big pick <laughs> so this one is my higher end pick for this knife show and that's going to be the Dawson Knives Deep Notch. <laughs> the hits just keep coming. 
So this is the Dawson Knives uh, Red and Black Deep Notch with the red and black G10 handles. Let's take a look at that one What up was close. I saying about that one earlier? That it felt what? It's chunky. <laughs> it's chunky. My big pick is chunky. So this one's coming in with the CPM 3V uh, blade right there. Uh, Crucible Particle Metallurgy 3V blade. And that thing is thick. Overall length is 7.5 inches, and the red and black G10 handles that are very nicely sculpted and contoured right there. Really cool blade design, great jimping up front as well. So you can get your finger out there and do some do some really precise cuts and some great jimping right there for really controlled stuff. It's also got a little bit of jimping right there on the inside of that finger choil, making it a very, very secure knife. It shouldn't have too many hot spots. No, none at all. And this thing is really cool. I love Dawson knives. I think I think they're coming out with some really great stuff. Really great look, great feel. You can tell they've taken their time as far as ergonomics goes. And speaking of that, you can tell a lot of knife manufacturers are so worried about weight that yeah they kind of take into consideration that having that thicker handle fits better and less fatigue in the hand yeah and this one's coming in at 220 and it's one of those with how chunky it is with how heavy it is without with how beefy it is it's going to be there for a really long time it's it's definitely not going anywhere that's one of those uh, immovable object kind of things right there and a great sheath as well so you plug that into the sheath right there and it's got a leather back pocket clip with a tutorial online so you can be sure to watch that tutorial right there changing the pocket clip from one side to the other and really like that design from dawson knives made in the u.s coming in at 220 and that is my higher end pick what is yours so for, for my high-end pick, I actually went with a ProTech. I've been wanting a ProTech for a long time, but they've been a booger to get in and yeah. actually actually have the opportunity to get one. They've been super popular. The ProTechs, one thing I like about them is how clean and simple a lot of their designs are. They don't yeah. try to gunk it up too much, put too much nonsense in it. And they probably have one of the hardest snaps for a, a OTS out the side. Yeah. And so this one is the ProTech Les George. Yep, the LG403, the and Les you just go George. by what it says on the blade. It's just called George. Yep. So uh, it's got a really cool logo on it. And also it's S35VN. Yep. So you're getting a premium blade steel with a premium knife brand. Yeah. Which and for like, a decent price at what it is. Yeah, like you said, that... The Protects are super snappy. The The spring action is very sharp on those. You can see my hand actually bounce in that. Now, this one's called the, the Les George SBR, or Short Bladed Rock Eye Auto. And Rolls off the tongue. It, it fits in the hand really cool. And that's a nice play on words uh, in reference to short barreled rifles, SBR. Short bladed rock eye. Blade length on that one is two and a half inches. Cutting edge is about 2.35 inches. Closed length, 3.9 inches. And overall, with that blade snapped out there, is so six and a half inches. It just, it just comes out mad. Yeah. And that CPM S35 VN blade steel, we all know that I love that one. Blade thickness of 0.125 inches. On that drop point, flat grind blade. Oh, we noticed that. Uh, some people online had that completely wrong. Uh, so flat ground right there, absolutely beautiful. The handle material is T661 aluminum, anodized black, and it's a very deep, dark black as well. Button lock. I like the spine of it. Yeah, it's so you can see those milled out points. And so this is made into two pieces, and it's like a sandwich. And this is another area where you can see the quality from ProTech is if you look at those, they're milled out and they have to be milled out individually because it's two separate pieces and they line up perfectly. And when you can find something that's made really well like that, I, I think that's a, a great attention to detail. 
Uh, obviously made in the U.S. on that ProTech Auto right there, coming in at 190, and that thing's really gorgeous. We're going to have a uh, National Knife Day SMKW exclusive ProTech giveaway. Giveaway. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. And um, we're going to need to wrap this up because we're blinking. Hey, blinking. Hey, blinking. All right, guys. So to, to overview everything, you're going to get a 30-second countdown. We've got the CJRB, the wrench knife. We've got the lion steel. An LT right. We've got the Civivi. Case 25th anniversary. Microtech. Goats. Another Microtech. We've also got the Dawson, the Protech, and of course, don't forget the Knife of the Week, Arctic Storm. Check those out. Those are going to be available again, National Knife Day, August 24th, 11 a.m., two per customer limit. Yeah, guys, so tune in. Uh, this will air the day before uh, we go live, so everybody, tomorrow we will be live Yes. in the store. In if the store. If you want to come see us, come see us. If you want to chat with us online, we will be online to chat with. We, like I said and earlier, we'll be on. Tune in for all those giveaways, too. We've got 60-plus giveaways online, 20-plus uh, giveaways in the store on a raffle ticket. So First giveaway starts at 10 a.m. Yep. 10 a.m. We will be live at 9.30. Yes. Eastern Standard Time. Yes. All right. Well, that's all we got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is absolutely. This is TC. This is Isaac. And as always, remember. That was disturbing. And remember, if it cuts, we carry it. Unless you want to. No. I don't care. What do you care about? A lot of things. That doesn't involve. The acronyms of TC. Wow! Throwing shade! Would you like me to throw another necklace on you? Please. <laughs> that would make everybody just completely go nuts on the internet, so I, I would rather enjoy that. <laughs>